Hello YouTubers, uh, today we're going to do rear brakes, drum brakes on a Honda Civic. This setup is from a 2002 Honda Civic, but it should be pretty similar to any other Honda rear brakes. Uh, the only difference is we have this on the wall, your car will have a hub right in the middle here. So there'll be a hub where you attach the wheel to. So here is our uh, wheel cylinder, just make sure when you take the brakes off, make sure, or the drum off, make sure it's not leaking anywhere. If it is, you need to replace that. Here's your parking brake cable. Here's a lever that attaches to it. And uh, this is your self-adjuster. So we have, uh, when you're taking the brakes off, the anchor pins generally you want to take them off last and put them on first. So we're going to start taking the springs off. And for this, I'm going to use a side cutter. The first thing we're going to take off is the spring right here. So I'm just going to Grab it, pull it down, okay, spring comes off, and then the adjusting lever comes off. So one of the ways to take this top spring, it's quite uh, difficult to take this spring off, is using a, a brake tool, a brake plier. I generally don't prefer this just because sometimes when you're using this tool, you end up chewing the new shoe. But the way you use this is the hook goes under the spring, the, hook, the other side goes onto the shoe, so the hook goes under, the other side goes onto the shoe, you squeeze it, and you can take the spring off. The second is you can use a brake spring tool, so the way it works is basically the spring gets caught in here, so when you're taking the spring off, the spring gets caught in here, so we put this on the spring. Tighten it up until it grabs onto the spring. And I'm going to hold the shoe with my fingers here, and I'm going to push this with my thumb. The third way of taking the same spring off is with a side cutter. Um, I prefer using this because it's, I find it much easier. Uh, it doesn't damage the shoe. Okay. If you don't have a fancy tool like this, that's what you have at home, and you can use this. So what I do is, I grab the shoe with my hand, and I grab the spring with the side cutter. Okay, when you're doing that, make sure that you're not cutting it. It's pretty difficult to cut it, but just make sure you're not putting too much force where it ends up cutting the spring. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on the spring. I'm holding the spring. I'm gonna pull this. Basically what I'm doing is I'm holding that there. I'm gonna pull that with my thumb. Okay, so here we go. Next you can remove uh, the self-adjusting mechanism. So you just move the shoe back with your hand and you can take the self-mechanism or uh, self-adjusting mechanism out. Next we are going to take the anchor pins out. So you press the locking device down. I have my other hand on the back side of it and I'm going to turn the pin. So, press that down. Turn the pin. And we got the anchor pin out. At the same time, what you want to do is, I have not touched this bottom spring right now. You don't want to stretch the hell out of it. So all you got to do is, when you remove the shoe, it's much easier to take the bottom spring off like this. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. By the way, when you're, uh, when you're dealing with the, the rear brakes, sometimes you have shoes that are different size. You will have a shoe that's either thicker and thinner, or you have a shoe that's bigger and smaller. The bigger shoe is secondary shoe, which always attaches to your uh, brake cable. The primary shoes go to the front of the vehicle. So primary on the front, secondary on the back, and secondary will have the cable, the parking brake cable attached to it. To remove uh, the cable from the lever, so I'm gonna use the same thing, side cutter. I'm gonna go in between the spring. I'm gonna go in between the spring. I'm gonna force the, the spring back, holding the cable. 
and you can remove uh, the, the lever. What you need to watch is, if you hold this too tight, this is what happens. You're going to end up cutting the wires. Okay, So make sure you're not holding it tight to a point where you're cutting the wires. Most of the time, you just get the shoes. You get two shoes, you get primary and secondary shoe. You don't get the lever with it. So to remove the lever, you have to remove the C-clips, and you will have to put this on the new shoes. So the way the anchor pin works is you can see this is almost like, looks like an arrow. So the anchor pin goes in and then you turn it 90 degrees and it locks in. To remove it, you're just pressing this down, releasing the pressure, turning it 90 degrees and it comes out. We're ready to put back the shoe. So what you do is, I take two pliers, hold, move the spring back. If I need to move it more back, I move. Okay, so we have the spring backed off. This goes through the lever. You release the spring, it locks on. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is put the anchor pins back on. So I'm gonna deal with the secondary shoe. I'm still holding the pin at the back. It gets pretty tough if you need help, you know, get someone else to hold the shoe for you. We'll try see how it goes. Okay, so we got our secondary shoe on. We're going to put our primary shoe on. Don't forget to you put this bottom spring on because if you try to put this afterwards, you're going to end up stretching it and sometimes this is what it looks like, okay, once you stretch it. So all you gotta do is put the spring on, put the other shoe on, bring it around, put the anchor pin through, okay. We're gonna put the other side on. Okay. So there's couple things you need to do to the self-adjuster because you have to have the self-adjuster that spins free. So you take it apart, you wire brush both sides, you wire brush here or sandpaper or emery cloth, um, then you clean the threads on this side, then you put anti-seize on it. Okay, some places it's called never seize, so you put it here, you put it here, you wind it all the way in, okay. you wind it all the way in, so in this case, if you forget which way it goes, you won't be able to put it backwards, but if you forget which way it goes, you can see that on this side, it's wider than that. And over here, you have two things that it's holding. It's holding the lever and the shoe, okay? And it has to go, the deeper point has to go to the back. So this point has to go to the back, that's to the front. So like this, move the shoe back, slide it in and squeeze it in, okay? That's how the sulfur adjuster goes. Once again, to put this top spring on, this is the toughest part. To put this top spring on, you can use any of the tools that I've shown before, but I prefer a side cutter, so I put this side on first, because if I try to put plier on, or if I try to put the side cutter on this side, it budges into here. So what I do is I put that side on first, I grab this side, there's enough room for me here, I'll put my thumb here, I'm going to pull it, I'm going to put my hand here and snap it in place. Last thing is we put the adjusting lever on, that goes here, then we have the spring, it goes from inside, we take our side cutter and the spring is on. If this was on the car, this is just used for my classroom, but if this was uh, on a car, at this point you would have to uh, get a brake spoon, you would have to go through the back and turn the adjuster until your brakes are properly adjusted. And once again, thank you for watching our channel.